Welcome back guys, Automotive Inc. here. Thank you for always tuning in. Today's video was a request by one of the viewers who said, what about rattling when this is open? They wanna go goosenecking, they wanna go fifth wheeling. Um, something that affects, so they're gonna have this cover in the open position all the time. So we are gonna do a little road test with that here just shortly in this video. But I'm gonna to talk to you about why Paragon covers is probably the ultimate tonneau. Again, guys, I have ran the backflip, I have ran the Lear, I have ran the undercover flex, I've ran cheap ones, I've won soft ones, I had canister ones, those are the ones that kind of roll up inside themselves, take up a lot of the bed. Um, I've had all of them, and all of them vary between $1,000 and $1,600, $1,700. So what makes Paragon the ultimate truck bug cover? I'm going to show you everything. So no, no matter what, if you go with the Classic, the Platinum, or the Limited XD guys, the cover's construction is basically the same. They give you an excellent seal here on top of the bed. Very, very good seals here all the way down. Now, if you opt for the optional tailgate seal, I would highly recommend that. Um, just because the one that they give you uh, is exactly set up. And that's going to go inside here on the bed. It'll work with your bed liners, guys. It'll work with everything. Now, depending on the truck you use or have, it will work with the box link. The way the Ford sets up, it actually mounts with the, the box link brackets themselves. Very good seals here. The overall construction of this cover is probably the best I've ever seen. Now, I will tell you this, um, Paragon is a American owned company, made in USA, no outsourcing of baloney. Um, each cover has their own extent of a warranty. So the classic, I think you get one year, uh, platinum, you get a three year and the limited, you get a five year. So just to put that in perspective, the backflip, the Lear, all those other ones that are about 11, $1,200, you're going to get a one year warranty typically on those. <clears throat> and I'll tell you this much, uh, customer support with those other customer, uh, other companies is it's tough to get a hold of somebody, to get an answer. Um, I did have one issue with one backflip that uh, they uh, I had a back box. The brackets broke after about two years. They did warranty those and send those out. It was a little bit of a tedious task to get them to warranty it. Then later I did buy an MX-4. Uh, in that one, the seals actually shrunk in the heat. And then you'd come back and they'd be a little bit longer the next day. And uh, <clears throat> that was not a warrantable thing, apparently, because it didn't leak. So they, they called that aesthetic. So... For what that's worth, I think it made a very expensive cover look really bad. Now, Paragon's customer support is excellent. Whether you're having a question about install, whether you're having a question about uh, warranty concerns, you can go to their website and read the reviews on how well they treat their customers. So that's a big thing when it comes to buying an expensive product, because it's like everything. How does it come boxed? How does it come fit and finish? How does everything kind of play out when everything and this thing came shipped extremely well. The last several backflips I've, I've had that have came in have been missing pieces, uh, a lot of extra like aluminum shredding and scrap like that. So Paragon starts with cleaning their product up before it ships and then they ship it very well. So when it came in, the boxes look good. And if you wanna see the install video of that, guys, I did the unboxing and everything. You see how robust everything was. And that kind of played forward in how all of the actual cover is made. So let me just show you kind of how everything works. Now, this is the limited um, HD. And I always keep saying ultimate because I really think this is the best cover I've ever owned. And it's worth every, every penny because the last MX-4 was $1,400. I think this one's sixteen hundred dollars, um, and this type of accessory uh, typically will be war uh, you know covered by your insurance. So if you get hail or something like that, and this gets bunged up, then they'll usually cover it. So starting with this, so if you get a classic or a uh, platinum, guys, you're going to have a locking mechanism. I think it's up in the front, and what that does is this cover is already very very secure. Um, covers that do just cover the load are like the soft vinyl ones some of the other ones they're not as robust to say theft deterrent or anything like that this one's very robust now the limited doesn't have any keys up here if you go to their website it does say that some models have the locking mechanism this one on the 24 ford super d does not <clears throat> now the uh Limited does have this matte finish. It's very nice looking. It's not rhino lining, but it is a matte finish. The other ones can be painted. The classic and the platinum, I think you can get them color matched if you really want. Um, and I think they have a high gloss uh, cover. So 
um, that's kind of how the construction of that for security. Now the Limited itself actually uses this um, plunger system in here. So you can see right there we have two different plungers and uh, one on each side. Um, I know you'd th be thinking, oh man, it's got to be a pain doing too. It's actually super easy. Um, but you can see up here, if we look at the bed, guys, when I push in the driver's side one, that front panel is going to drop down. Um, come over here, push this other one. And that's basically be the same way as how you're going to close it. You would just pull the passenger side one first. Of course, once it shoves it forward, it kind of starts to cover forward. Um, you will have this long pull strap, which most of them that are in the canister have a pull strap. This is not a big deal that this kind of hangs down. Um, you'll just want to make sure that you remember to bring it out. Now, here's what's cool about the cover. So my back flip also worked this way. Um, so did the Lear, so did the, um, the uh, undercover Flex. But when people ask, do I have to take my fifth wheel plate out to use it? Absolutely not. Now, depending on the way you have your fifth wheel set up, it may be a little bit higher. You can always lower those arms on most fifth wheel hitches, especially that. But if you can see, I have an adapter, which is about probably three inches tall off the bed. And then I have my hitch. And uh, the way the rails sit on the rail, I easily, this never hits. You can see I got about two inches up there. So if you're goosenecking, absolutely no sweat doing it. And uh, in all reality, you got a lot of bed uh, height in here to not even have to open the cover. So once we got those undone, guys, you can grab the cover. Now, the first dozen times you open this, it's pretty stiff because of the seals. Um, so if you feel so inclined, you can hop up in the bed and actually move these forward. It is getting easier to move each time I do it. Um, I usually don't let it crash like that. Um, but it'll sit right there, guys. And then what I will do is I'll link down the video. So the only thing I would say I would like them to offer because the, the seal, optional seal is optional that you can purchase would be a bag to keep this nice cover in when you take it all the way out, whether you're going to put it in the garage or you're going to put it in the basement of your, you know, the fifth wheel or you're just going to set it aside in here in the bed because you can see I got a lot of stuff in here. There still leaves me about eight inches of access underneath here to put my bags, my hitches, all of my extra tools I like to keep carrying with me, ratchet sets, bungees, chains, etc. Um, if you're going to take this out and set it on, obviously this type of stuff could bung up the seals. So I bought a bag on Link. It's super cheap. It's way too huge for this cover, but uh, I wanted to have it because when I was pulling in the last couple videos, I wanted to uh, actually keep the cover in something so it didn't get bunged up. Now from here, if you want to tie it off, and this is where I think the question would arise is, is when this is tied off, does this sit here and rattle against itself? So let me show you real quick. So the way they're going to show you guys in, the, in their installation videos, you're going to take the tail of this, you're going to drop it in front of the front plate, and then you're going to wrap it around one, two times is what I do. And then what I do is once I get it done the second time, I pull it nice and tight, and then I'll loop it here. So I'll tie this off. All right, so it's not squaring on anything. I basically take the end loop, wrap it around a couple times, feed it back through itself. Now, you can see right here, it, it hardly moves at all like this. And then when you're ready to remove it, guys, you're gonna just use this as like a little handle, which is super cool, because this whole set of panels weighs anywhere between 35 and probably 40 pounds, depending on which cover you get. And obviously eight foot bed versus a short foot bed, it might be a little bit heavier, but this is the lightest cover to remove. And what I love about this is when I had my, my uh, back flip and you folded it up, it sat about four or five inches higher than the bed. And although I could use my hitch with it, I couldn't look through the back window and see my hitch. And uh, so hooking up, yeah, if you don't have a camera, then it kind of sucks in that realm. Well, this thing is completely out of your way. You can look and you can see it does not rattle. I'm going to leave this tied off for the test just to show you. I don't ever hear any noises from this cover in the cab, whether it's folded up or, or when it's closed, I don't hear any rattling. Now, <clears throat> if you want to remove it, guys, you're just gonna pull back on this first little panel here. There's a little catch right in here. You're gonna push it. And then what that does is allows this back panel to, to unclip. You're gonna pick it up and kind of pull it forward in the rails a little bit. Um, so push that forward. And then you're just gonna then, once it's angled like this, then you'll pull it out of that corner, reverse the steps to put it back in. Now this specific cover also the limited. All right, so here's the sound guys. So that banging around you'll hear back there is my hitch. The 
this is over a ton of bumps and about 35 and I'll bring it back at uh, when we're going down the highway or the 45 a little bit higher speed but you guys can trust me that that banging around is my adapter and my hitch and I don't even hear that with the cover closed or this window closed all right so we're back on this is at about 50 mile an hour you can see that it just rides really nice together Again, that rattle sound is my adapter and my fifth wheel. Alright, so now that we're back guys, we are going to show you the incremental opening position so this is fully closed. Also, every time you open it, we're going to start with the driver's side first. That drops that corner. That drops that corner. So it says you can leave it open in four panel. One, two, three, four. Or two panel. So four on a short bed is going to give you about a foot and a half. So if you have a desk or something you want to put in there and let it kind of tight against the tailgate, you can. Um, so from there, basically all you got to do is then come back if you want it in the four panel, you pull the pin all the way back and then it's ready um, to be pushed forward against the bed and then it rides super quiet. Um, you can see it gives you a, the two foot opening there. So, um, and then it basically kind of comes up here and keeps it nice like that. Now when it's open like this, the seals aren't going to be touching themselves. So keep in mind. If you have gear in front, it could be get a little bit damp, but it's not a huge deal. And then, like I said, if you wanted the two panel opening, that gives you almost half of the bed. Um, but then when you're ready, you just shove the pins back in and then you can pull the bed back shut. So now that you get that, you're just going to get it to that opening right there and then left and I always finish on the driver's side. It's back up. This thing seals excellent guys so to wrap up guys this is a good investment for your vehicle for security so if you're a contractor an outdoors person a rancher or whatever you need access to your bed quickly easily partially fully open you want to remove that cover simply if you had to remove a backflip or a 650 uh, lear or even a, a undercover flex it's a beast they're heavy and they're awkward they're big so this is the best one for the money. And I know Paragon says that this stuff keeps your stuff out of the weather. I've taken this to the car wash several different times, focus the spray on it, and they won't call, say it's what it's waterproof. And I won't say it's waterproof either. What I will say is it's weather resistant, water resistant. And I have not personally experienced any leaking and I don't even have the auxiliary uh, weather seal on the tailgate. I will get it. I'm gonna order that here soon and get that put on uh, because I think for dusty conditions, that seal would be a good plus, not necessarily for water, but for uh, dust, keeping dust out of the bed. I haven't had it yet, a lot of dust or anything like that, but I haven't went down a lot of dirt roads. So at the end of the day, that's what makes the Paragon the ultimate truck cover, no matter if you get the Classic, Platinum, or the Limited. All right, guys, appreciate you guys always being here. Hopefully that answers your question, and we'll see you guys on the next one.